Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and this is the Mom Logs. So today I am going to show you my meal plan for my family of four and also my grocery haul. So I'm sitting outside of Walmart in my car right now. I've got the windows cracked, so if you hear um, cars driving around or shopping carts or highway noise, that is why, because I don't wanna bake in my car while I film this. Um, I am going to show you what I'm planning for my dinners for this week and then I thought I would also throw in my breakfast and lunch and then later on this week I will go ahead and film a what I eat in a day so that you can see um, some of these recipes and how I put them together. If you have any requests from this meal plan that you wanna see me actually make in my What I Eat in a Day, leave a comment below. Give a little vote, let your voice be heard. So I have um, two young kids, they're two and four, both boys, and if I am going to make them something different, I will note that as always and I will go ahead and pop my meal plan up over here so that you can follow along with me. So for breakfast this week, I'm either going to make an egg sandwich and I always use like a vegan egg and a vegan sausage. I'm not vegan, that's just personal preference slash, slash allergies um, or overnight oats. I'm really bad about remembering to make overnight oats but I'm gonna set an alarm in my phone um, to make them after my kids go to bed so they're ready in the morning. And I'll probably prep a couple of those um, so that they're ready for the next couple days. I think I'm gonna make uh, chocolate peanut butter overnight oats. Um, and then for lunches, I've got leftover chicken salad. Um, I will put the recipe for my chicken salad in the description box below if you're interested. It is a cranberry apple chicken salad. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing turkey bacon BLTs for dinners. Um, these aren't, I don't usually assign a meal to a specific day. I um, just pick whatever sounds good and then I get that ready throughout the day if I need to like marinate anything or pull meat out of the freezer. So the first meal that I have is chicken kebabs and I was just gonna do like um, cut up chicken, whole mushrooms, green peppers, onions, and then I'm gonna do brown rice. I'll marinate everything and um, try and get my kids to eat that too. They give me a, they put up a fuss over vegetables and grilled chicken, but you know, it is what it is. And I just like to try and get them to eat not only healthier foods, but also to expand their palates a little bit. My next meal is chicken parm. I did this last week and it turned out really good. It's a recipe from Mindy over at See Mindy Mom. I will link her channel up above, but she did a budget friendly meal. There's a really annoying bird outside of my window right now. I'm sorry if you can hear that. It was a budget friendly meal video and um, she basically just took marinara sauce, cooked it, um, she threw chicken and the marinara into the crock pot and then once the chicken was done cooking, she shredded it up and then put, returned the chicken to the sauce. That's what we did last week. It was so, so easy. Two ingredients and done. So um, I think I'll leave the chicken out of the kids' meals and then they can just have the marinara sauce with noodles. And I'm gonna serve that with a green side salad and um, the carbonata noodles that I showed in a previous video. They're really low in points and they're really good. Um, next on my list, I've shown this before as well, it's pineapple barbecue chicken. We grill the pineapple with the barbecue chicken and then I'm gonna do the air fry butternut squash and mixed veggies. And my kids don't like that barbecue sauce, so we are gonna do mac and cheese for them. And then they'll have the same sides as well. Um, the next meal is taco pizza. I've also shown this before. For the sauce, I like to use refried beans, and then we just top it with, you know, your typical, like, I'll do like seasoned um, vegetarian, like, 
like a ground beef substitute basically like by Morningstar or Boca or whatever they've got in the freezer section this time. I found a really yummy sounding stir fry recipe on Pinterest so I'm gonna do that with cauliflower rice and then for the kids this night they can just have chicken nuggets. I use the G Hughes teriyaki sauce and it has um, a little bit of a kick to it, like a zing from, I, I'm assuming it's the ginger, which can be kind of like spicy sometimes. And I just, I really don't think that they're going to like it. And I also think that it has pineapple in it. And my youngest guy gets like, I don't know if, if anybody has this. Sometimes I get it with like mango or peaches, but it makes his tongue itchy. So I try and stray away from that. And that G Hughes teriyaki sauce has pineapple in it. So I'm gonna give them something different this night, just chicken nuggets, and then they can have the same stir fry vegetables and I will um, scoop their vegetables out before I put the sauce on. And my last meal is going to be shrimp Alfredo and I'm going to put, um, I'm gonna put some mixed veggies in with the sauce and then I'm gonna serve it with the, um, some brown rice spaghetti. And then a salad on the side, so two nights of pasta but that's okay. It sounds really good and it's really filling and it's easy to do for the kids. So I am going to go inside, do my shopping, and when I get back home, I will show you everything that I got. All right, today I'm gonna go ahead and start with the frozen stuff. That way I can get it put away. It's really, really hot out. All right, so the I got raw shrimp and I chose the small ones that are already peeled and deveined and they have the tail off. Um, I just thought that these would be best to put in the Alfredo pasta. And then I also got the chopped spinach to throw in with that. And these I just saw and thought that I would pick them up for the kids. They really like pierogies with sour cream on them just for a quick lunch. I got some turkey bacon for the BLTs. This is the kind that I like. This is for the kids for the night that they're gonna have chicken nuggets. It's just popcorn chicken, the great value brand. And then this is also for the kids. This was not on the menu this week, but we needed a restock of cheese ravioli. These they had over 4th of July weekend at my brother and sister-in-law's, and I didn't realize that the Popsicle brand um, stopped using artificial food dyes. And they really liked having these, and I saw one last box and thought that I would pick them up. Um, shredded hash browns. I keep seeing people do the um, uh, the hash brown waffle, so I thought maybe I could get that a try maybe next weekend. This is for taco pizza, and then I got a taco packet seasoning you'll see in just a second. So this, you, you would cook up just like ground beef. I got a big 10 pound bag of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. These are the frozen, they're like frozen individual pieces. Um, I got two bags of cauliflower rice and that is for um, the, the teriyaki stir fry night. These are the vegetables that I got to go in the Alfredo. My kids love peas and carrots. And this is for the teriyaki stir fry as well. These are for my husband for breakfast and we already have cream cheese in the fridge. This is fun for the kids. So I got um, the pizza crust, there's three in there. And then I also got a pizza sauce. They like to dress their own pizza, like put the sauce and cheese on. And that is a quick and easy lunch. If you're looking for something for to keep them busy for a little bit. And then I just put them in the toaster oven and cut them up and they love that. I got a pack of the Ole Wellness Wraps just to have on hand. I can put my chicken salad in those. Let's see back here. I've got applesauce for the kids. I have roasted, the Kraft roasted garlic. I wanted that sun-dried tomato vinaigrette, but they didn't have this. And this is also two tablespoons for two points. So this is to use on my shish kebab, so I will marinate the chicken in that before I put them on the skewers. This is that pizza sauce. Let's see, I got the Ronzoni Smart Taste pasta. I'll put the points for this up on the screen. This will be for the shrimp pasta. These are for my husband. He really likes the, um, they're like, chia seed bars from Costco, but I haven't been up there in a little bit, so I just got these for him. It pains me how expensive the Cliff Bars are, but he really likes the 
crunchy peanut butter ones and I saw this variety pack and there's 18 in there. It comes out to like a dollar a bar. This sauce is so good if you haven't tried this really really good this is the alfredo sauce that i got for the alfredo pasta i got two boxes of the cherry flavored great value cereal bars for the kiddos this is the taco seasoning that i buy when i go to walmart it's just the original one and that is for the taco pizza for the veggie ground beef that i'm gonna put on that these um i just picked up for Popcorn. I have one of those kernel popper thingies that you throw in the microwave to make air popped popcorn and I saw something similar to this on Classically Molly's channel and I thought that I would give it a try. This is the kind that doesn't have any propellants in it and then this sounded good. I just like to keep my snacks exciting because sometimes if it gets boring I'm less motivated to eat something on the healthier side. This I got to throw in my overnight oats. Another idea from Molly. Thanks, Molly. Um, a can of mandarin oranges for the kids. Quick and easy fruit for in case I run out of fresh fruit by the end of the week, which I usually do. Um, that for you refried beans. I already have one small can in the pantry, so I just picked up a second small can, and that is what we use for the sauce on the taco pizza. I wanted to get an extra can of water chestnuts to put in with the stir fry. There's already water chestnuts in this mix, but it's just kind of like a filler, and there's zero points. I got these whole baby dill pickles to have as a side with lunch. Sounded so good. I went to the grocery store hungry and everything looked amazing. So I just picked these guys up instead of getting the spears. These, another impulse buy. They have them at the checkout and then I'm like, oh, I'll just get a bag, you know. A bag of Lily's chocolate chips. I went with the dark ones. Sounded good. This is also for the kids. These Mott's ones don't have any artificial food dyes. If you haven't watched my hauls before, that's something that's really, really important to me and my husband is um, no artificial food dyes for the kiddos. Um, light sour cream, this is for taco pizza. I, sometimes I use the Greek yogurt, sometimes I use this. Whatever I happen to have the points for that day, but my family will use this one too. This is for the kids. Um, this is the Oikos Triple Zero. I like to get this big container. They do have the smaller cups too. This is the vanilla flavor. I got unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is the Silk brand. I got one Clio bar. Again, it just sounded good. I ran out of um, the healthy eating all the time and go bars. So I just got this just for a quick little snack. I got the big bag of Frigo cheese heads, light string cheeses. There's 24 in here and these are one for one a point. I got two things of Greek yogurt. So I'll use this for the pizza crusts for the taco pizza and my kids have this for breakfast as well. I saw this and thought that I would give it a try. I will report back and I'll put the points up on the screen here. I probably won't have more than one cup in a sitting just like for an afternoon snack, but it sounded good. So I thought I would give it a try. And for produce, I got a bag of grapefruit because grapefruit for life. My husband wanted the mini oranges, but they were all really, really soft and I didn't think that they would keep all week, so I got him a bag of Valencia oranges. I got the On the Vine tomatoes and that is for the BLTs. Strawberries for my two-year-old for breakfast and a watermelon for my four-year-old for breakfast. Um, in this bag, I've got broccoli. It's just a head of broccoli and I was gonna put it in with the teriyaki stir fry as a filler. I got two green bell peppers, one for side salads and one for the kebabs. Back here, I've got a sweet onion and that's for kebabs. And then I have a cucumber hiding back there. That's for side salads. I have two bunches of bananas because we always fly through them for like smoothies and just to have for a quick snack. And then I have a small butternut squash, two heads of iceberg lettuce, and mushrooms, whole white mushrooms for kebabs. I think that's everything. I hope that you liked seeing what I got this week and that my meal plan was helpful. Maybe you can put some of these meals on your menu for next week. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button if you wanna see more from me in the future. I will see you next time, bye.